everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. Back for the 46th episode, guys, and today we are beginning with a fishing quest. Yeah, that is right, just like the episodes of old. Let's go and see what we get. Journeyman bait and some fishing potions. Very, very nice. Now, if we actually check out our fishing potion supply... Yeah, we've got rather a lot. The thing that we're lacking in is actually crate potions. We've got 24 sonar potions, 20 fishing potions, and then 7 crate potions. Uh, and we've got ourselves a bunch of high-end bait and some various other things as well. I'd be very interested in seeing if I could maybe make myself some more crate potions. Let me just check out my gems chest. There's nothing up there. What about in my ores chest? Any amber in here? Because amber is the thing we need to make crate potions, right? Uh, well, in which case, uh, it might be in here. Yeah, there's a little bit in there. Okay, so we can't make any because we are missing an ingredient of some description. My guess would be maybe that it's the day bloom. Do we not? I don't think we've got day bloom in here. Oh my god, look at how many bones we've got. This is unbelievable. Holy crap. All right, and we've got rather a lot of gel as well. Good lord. Right, now apparently, bones are ammo. Okay, and gel is ammo as well. I'm kind of tempted to start putting the uh, bones and gel in the ammo chest and sort of going from there. So I'm going to put those away, but I'm also going to go ahead and see uh, what the bones are used for. I mean, I know what they're used for in a general sense, but is there anything that I'm not familiar with that they're used for? Uh, necro armor, yeah, you got bone furniture, bone bed, bone block walls. Ooh. We could totally make ourselves a bit of a dungeon kind of house. That could that could be pretty cool. School lantern. So what is the ammo for? Oh, the bone glove. Yes, the bone glove. Obviously, we don't have access to it because we are not in expert mode. But yeah, the bone glove. That would be what it's used for. Aha! There we go, my friends. Absolutely fantastic. Now, in about 30 seconds, we'll be able to do our second fishing quest of the episode. We are also going to be taking down Moonlord once again because if we grab ourselves 15 more Luminite bars... And also some more of the solar fragments. Then I should be able to make myself the full set of solar melee armor. Which of course is the highest melee armor you can get in the entire game. So I'm looking forward to that. So anyways, at 4.30am, there we go. Alright, it's reset. And, oh, this one's super easy. Hey, don't mind if I do. I like a nice easy quest. The last one, I had to go to the underground hollow. And that's just a bit of a pain in my butt. So yeah. Alright, well let's get that done, huh? Huh. That was easy. That was the first freaking catch. You can even see. I haven't even caught anything else. I didn't use any buff potions or anything like that. <laughs> ah, you gotta love it when you're super lucky. All right, so that gives me pretty much the entire rest of the... What the hell? Cobblestone blocks? Whoa. Is there a way of making cobblestone blocks? If there is, that could be excellent. All right, so I mean, obviously, I'm assuming it's gonna be coral. But I don't think coral is a renewable resource. You pick it up and then that's it. It's done, right? Uh, sturdy fossils. These things are used for throwing armor. Yeah, we don't have any coral in here. Hmm. It would be nice if we could, like, fertilize the sand to, like, force grow the coral. I think that could be really, really cool. Although, I don't know. Does it, like, naturally grow here? Is that something it can do? I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to experiment with that. We're actually going to go ahead, dig up every single bit of coral you can see here. And then we're going to come back at a much, much later date to see if it's, like, like grown back or something. Because that could be really, really cool if it does. Alrighty, so we just wiped out the ocean of all of its coral. How much did we get? Uh, 42. Okay, so yes, it is a material. So, if this is correct... No, okay. Interesting. So you can make gills potions and sonar potions out of it, but you can't make cobblestone blocks. Not as far as I am aware, anyway. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to see what these look like. Oh my god. Dude. They look amazing. Huh. Okay. So I guess it could be a cool idea to just, like, continue grinding out the fishing quest. Because then we could maybe go ahead and grab ourselves some more of these cobblestone blocks and eventually do our eventual underwater fishing settlement of awesomeness. Ooh, that could be an excellent idea. But yeah, this isn't quick stacking, so we don't actually have any aside from what we just managed to get. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Get wrecked, you scrub! All right, what do we got? Oh, the solar pillar is here this time. Okay. Right, now I just want to confirm my pillar locations because if they are even a slight bit off, 
then we could majorly affect... Uh, yeah, look at that. The solar pillars are, like, way up there this time, whereas the rainbow bricks are down here. Huh. Okay, the vortex one is in the correct place. Uh, this one is broadly in the correct place, and then this one's in the correct place as well. So it would appear that the pillars spawn in very, very slightly different locations each time. So, yeah. I mean, that could prove to be a bit of a pain, but it's okay. Honestly, it's okay. All right, guys. The four pillars. Let's start off with arguably the most difficult one, the solar one. Let's do the solar one, and, well, actually, that's a pretty good thing, because then I'll have a better idea as to whether or not I'll actually be able to make the solar armor with all of the fragments, because I think the fragments may be our downfall. Possibly Luminite, if RNG is a butt to us again, rather like last episode, but who's hoping it isn't? Because I'm tired of bad RNG. It gets on my nerves. A lot. <laughs> so, yeah. And goodbye, solar pull up! Oh, jeez! Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. All right. Uh, oh! Nope, 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 nope. Oh, 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 they're still coming. They're still coming. All right. Uh, I've got a bad feeling there's going to be a freaking cool to feed somewhere around here. All right, so 33 is the amount we've got. The question is, is that enough? All right. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, spawn point removed. Okay, well, that's a thing I just did. Solar fragment blocks. Ooh. Could look really, really cool, guys. All right, so in total, we need 10 plus 20, which is 30, plus 15, which is 45. We need a grand total of 45 solar fragments in order to be able to create this thing. So let's do a little bit of the old quick stack action. Hey! All right, so we've got 52. Perfect. All right, so I guess the only possible downfall now is going to be Luminite from the Moon Lord himself. So, I tell you what, we're going to skip all the rest of the pillars. The solar one is all I wanted to know if I had enough fragments for. So, yeah, just going to skip the rest. We're going to get to the end of the Moon Lord fight. And let's see if we can make ourselves the full set of solar armor. Because if so, we're switching to a melee set. Because the Star Wrath we got in the last episode, we haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. So, you know be kind of nice to do some stuff with it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I may have inadvertently made, like, the perfect pillar farming type of location. I mean, for the most part, those freaking thunderbolts, they're not even hitting me. I'm getting enough hearts back from taking all of these guys down to freaking heal myself. And it's fantastic, guys. Right, if I go away, I'm hoping the nurse will spawn back in her little place, because if not, and she's not around when the freaking moon lord's around, then I might be in a little bit of trouble here, my friends. Although she seems to be healing herself up pretty nicely. Which I guess is okay. So, yeah. Alright, well, uh, I'm just going to keep going, my friends. Just going to keep going. I might keep you guys in for the Moon Lord fight. Because I'm going to try something different. In that I've actually made myself a bunch of crystal bullets. Maybe they can fare better in terms of damage, right? I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, huh? And yeah, guys. The other thing I wanted to mention is a lot of you guys were quite correct. Why are we using wings if we're using the UFO for the fight, pretty much? So... Makes sense to try something else, so we've got the Charm of Myths here. Hopefully that will provide us enough life regen to the point where we should be okay. Right, this will be the only time I heal. Right, there we go, so I can get myself up to 600 health, so we're actually ready to do this thing. We need to take off the Endless Musket Pack, so we actually activate the usage of the other things. And yeah, guys, here we go. All we're going to do is just try and stay alive, I guess, which hopefully won't be that difficult. All right, try to prevent him from, uh, you know, sapping my life away as well. There we go. Come on. Yeah, look at that. The damage is real, guys. The damage is... Oh, my gosh. We, we almost took out the top eye in one foul swoop. Ye gods. That was a hell of a lot of damage. God damn. All right, well, uh, upon this second eye opening, we should have this. There we go. And we're done. All right, so now we go for the hands. This might be the quickest we've actually taken down the moon, all ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think the Charm of Myths was a fantastic idea by every stretch of the imagination. Let's just have a quick heal. Look at the damage per second. 5,000! Holy Jesus! Woo! Baby! Okay. Crystal bullets, definitely worth it. Charm of Myths over using wings, definitely worth it. All the buffs... Definitely worth it. Okay, that was definitely a freaking speed run there. Holy moly. We've got the Meow Mir, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fantastic, considering we're going to be switching to the freaking melee loadout, right? Yeah. Well, guys, if you haven't dropped a like rating already, you got to drop a like rating for that little Moon Lord speed run right there. Ye gods. 
That was absolutely fantastic by every stretch of the imagination. Hello there, sir. Do you have anything that I don't have already? Uh, Gypsy Ray, maybe I don't have that. DPS Mate, I definitely already got that. Everything else. I mean, I don't even know what the Presserator does, but I'll take it for the simple fact that I don't think I have it. Uh, I think my accessory, yeah, my accessories chest is like entirely full now. Oh boy. Oh wait, no, that was a, that was a, that was a free slot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, I'll put the gypsy robe in there. We've got some other little straggler bits of armor in here as well. Ancient necro helmet, shadow scale mail. Why the heck not? All right, well, uh, yeah, guys. That, my friends, is what you call a good old-fashioned pounding. Yeah, that definitely makes up for last episode's lack of RNG, huh? <laughs> Brilliant. Alrighty, guys. I believe the amount of bars we needed was 36. If we get 15 or more, then we'll be good to go. Yeah! Well, guys, today we do switch to the melee loadout. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, huh? So let's grab all of these bad boys out. And, guys, we should actually be able to do this. So let's get back over to the ancient manipulator. So there is the helmet. There is the chest plate. And there's the leggings. All right. Enemies are more likely to target you. Although, guys, check out this defense increase, okay? Going from 78 to 94. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. That's a lot, huh? I mean, if I manage to get myself some better reforges, I could pretty easily get that over 100. And that's without the use of buffs. That is insane. Okay, right. Well, uh, do we have any space in here? To maybe, like, be able to easily switch between loadouts. I mean, we could possibly do that. That seems pretty cool. All right, we do have ourselves... Wait, there was a warrior emblem in there. Yeah, look at that. 17% increased damage. We've got the mechanical gloves here. We should be able to convert those into the fire gauntlets uh, presently. Yep, rather like that. So we just need to get down to the Goblin Tinkerer, or up to the Goblin Tinkerer, more to the point. And there we go, the Fire Gauntlet. I'm quite surprised we haven't managed to make that yet, but hey-ho, it's all good. It's all good. It's a good time, my friends. Wait, that allows us the ability to dash. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. All right, what else do we have? We could have the yo-yo bag on us if we so wished, but to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go with the old swords. I like me some swords, man. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so let's take that off. Let's take this off. And, uh, yeah, maybe we could get some better reforges, huh? All right, so let's start off with the fire gauntlet. Uh, Chuck, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to tell you, man. That is absolutely perfect. Quite literally, in every single sense of the word, perfect. 305 melee damage. Holy God. All right. Uh, weak, keen, anything. Oh, my God. Holy balls. Legendary Star Wrath. Okay. Well, what can we get on? 36 gold. Jesus Christ. Come on. Anything with damage. Oh, my gosh. 351? All right, the influx waiver, I'm afraid, good sir, your usefulness has come to an end. I think I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep the godly Eye of Cthulhu. I might pull it in my uh, piggy bank, just in case I want to switch back to a yo-yo loadout. Yo-yo loadout. Yeah, got to love a yo-yo loadout, right, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy right now, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, and believe it or not, we've actually got enough to convert some solar fragments. Hang on, let's go make some. 13. There we go. And we should have bang on enough now to make ourselves a celestial sigil. Fantastic! We can take him down again! And you know what? I'm feeling it! Let's try and give it a go with our melee loadout. So, the Star Wrath at 192 damage, and then the Meow Mir at 351 damage. We even have a solar eruption here with 189 melee damage. All of these things are absolutely glorious, guys. Like, you can't possibly deny that. Holy God. <laughs> oh, today, my friends, we did become legend. Just like in Destiny. Holy God. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. In fact, you know what? I'm so confident. I don't even think I need to go to the normal place I do it, which is at the uh, freaking other biome. So I'm just going to do it. Wait, what? Why can't I do it? I d what? I can't take down the Moon Lord again. Why? There's no event going on, right? Huh. Okay. What if I quit out of my world and go back in? Will that allow me to do it? Uh. Oh. What? I'm so confused. What the hell was going on there? Why didn't it... It didn't allow me to use it. Uh. Well, that's weird. 
Oh, well, everything's fine. Tickety-boo and peachy, guys. Let's take this off just in case we need to switch back to the SDMG. I mean, yeah, it does less damage, but we're still going to probably absolutely pwn his butt. So let's go and get the Charmer Myths and Star Veil back on. And guys, we are ready. This thing nearly does 200 damage now. Holy jeez. Whew. All right, let's do it. Hey, one eyeball out the game. Our health is still doing very, very nicely here, my friends. Right, if we could just, like, angle our trajectory here to absolutely freaking pwn this right hand. Come on, let's have a little bit of health there. Right, okay, that's that done. Right, now if we can maybe take down the other one. Uh, I think any time now. We should, yep, there we go. The core has been revealed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, we are, like, right above our freaking base right now. Holy jeez. All right, well, uh... Come on, Starwrath. Don't let me down there, brother. Don't let me down. You're doing pretty good so far. Our trajectory is like absolutely perfect. Estimating the projectiles. Yeah. Yeah, our damage per second is definitely lower than that of the SDMG with our Ranger loadout. So, yeah. I think, to be honest, that should be a little bit of myth busting for you guys. Starwrath versus the SDMG. What is better? Clearly the SDMG. Clearly the SDMG. Oh, look at that. We got another one. <laughs> hey, don't mind if I do, man. Hey, man, I'd love to get myself the last prism. I think it would be game set and match if we get the last prism with, of course, the uh, the nebula armor, uh, of which we have no pieces of that just yet. But hey-ho, guys. We're looking pretty awesome. We've got 90 Luminite. Holy God. What's the maximum amount of Luminite you can get from the Moon Lord in uh, normal mode? I don't actually know, but I, I, that's got to be at the higher end. Got to be at the higher end of the amount you can get. Right, so let's go grab the other bits out. There was 92. Uh, we've got ourselves three Luminite bars already. I might be able to make myself a, uh, a ham axe, which I think I'd quite like to do as well. So we've got 26 bars. Of course, 10 more. I can make myself another set of armor if I so wish. But guys, I'm going to make myself a ham axe so I can get rid of the laser jewel and pone hammer. And therefore, we're saving ourselves a bit of inventory space. So I'm going to go with the Stardust one. Uh, let's just grab it all out. And at this point, guys, like building is going to be incredibly easy. It's going to be so incredibly easy. We've got the absolute best things, anything. Oh, my God. We've got Legendary again. Dude, this game. It's, it, it's, it's, it's like reaching down a hand to me from the Terrarian gods in the sky. And it's like, hey, bro, I'm sorry for the RNG in the last episode. Here, have some good RNG. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Don't mind if I do, bro. That is just glorious. Oh, my word. Well, there we go, my friends. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you other than, holy crap, we are just absolutely decimating the Moon Lord now. And I don't know what to... I just... I, like I said, I just don't know what to say other than, holy crap. Absolutely amazing stuff, guys. Right, I tell you what. We're going to we're gonna finish this episode the same way we started it. We're going to do a final fishing quest, which is in the jungle surface. So, I tell you what, just to save a wee bit of time, let's go and remove our spawn point. And, guys, we're going to do this fishing quest to finish this off. Aha! Tropical Barracuda. There it is. All right, so let's go... Well, huh, well, we could go home, but, yeah, I forgot I, like, removed my spawn point. So, how's about we have a little bit of a fly in space? And honestly, guys, I just wanted to say just a huge, massive thank you for all of your support throughout the series, my friends. I mean, like I say, like I, this is the world that I want to be on for the rest of my day. So, no, this series is not ep ending on episode 50 like it traditionally does. Like, we're going to keep going, guys. Like, if this winds up turning into a building series, so be it. I mean, like I said at the start of the series, nothing is off limits. So, that's why I'm trying to take down Moon Lord with various other types of loadouts, right? Because it's fun. And at the end of the day, that's what this series is all about. I mean, yeah, we've been kind of making a lot of progress in the last, in the latest few episodes, but honestly, it's mostly so I can get my building stuffs because having all of this building stuffs means that, uh, you know, I'll be able to build a lot easier. And I love building in Terraria. I genuinely do. Like, you know, discovering new things every single day is one of the most satisfying things in the entire world. It really, really is. So let's see what we get. A goldfish trophy and some more high-end bait. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I'm very, very happy with that, actually. So let's go ahead and chuck those away. I don't think we've got the goldfish trophy before. So that's a new one. Don't mind if I do. We're definitely going to need to make a new space to put all of these trophies up. Because, you know, we've got a fair amount of them at this point. <laughs> so, yeah. 
But anyways, guys, I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to drop a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you did. If we can continue hitting like a thousand likes per episode, I would be extremely happy, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next